Hi friends, welcome to Maxmas 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about date trunk function in Tableau. Let's get started. So before we get to know about date trunk Tableau, we need to know about date functions. So we have different types of date functions available in Tableau. I have listed one of the important and most commonly used date functions and those are date, data, date div, date parts, date trunk, each date today. So date trunk is one among the important date functions in Tableau. So date trunk helps us to truncate the date to the accuracy specified by the date bar. This function returns a new date. For example, when you truncate a date that is in the middle of the month at the month level, this function returns the first day of the month. The example is right below. Date trunk of month, comma date column. Here, month is nothing but the date part and date column is nothing but the column we are passing in the date function, I mean date trunk function to get the truncation happen on the date. So let me open W desktop and uh, show you how to use date trunk and uh, how easy it is to use date trunk. So I have opened W desktop and I am using sample superstore data, which is easily available online. You can even download it. So now I am going to bring order date and uh, bringing it to rows and changing it to exact date. So since I have changed it to exact date, it will be a continuous measure. So I am converting this particular measure to discrete. Now what I am going to do now is I am going to create a calculated field on top of that. So what I am going to do now is I am typing in date trunk. So date trunk and I am passing a date part. Comma, I am passing our date sorry order date within the date trunk calculation so i am renaming the calculation as date trunk year i am clicking on ok now i am bringing this calculation to row shelf and i am changing it to exact date and then converting it to discrete now, now let's understand the difference between these two. So, if you observe this particular date, so we have 0301-2014. So, here it returned 0101-2014. Since we have passed year as the date part, what it has done is it truncated to the beginning of the year. So, if you observe this uh, particular column, we have the dates available 0101-2014 from this first record to all the records available with the year 2014. So if you let me scroll it down. Huh. If you observe this particular column 31-12-2014 here you can see the date 0101-2014. That's because we are truncating the date to the beginning of the year. So when we use date trunk function, it automatically truncates the date and takes it to the beginning of the year. That's why we got 0101-2014. The same way, if you observe the next date, 0201-2014, it truncated the particular date to the beginning of the year. So since uh, the previous record was 2014, it has taken to the beginning of that particular year. Since the second record is belonging to 2015. It has taken a third particular record to the beginning of the 2015. So we got 010 2015. The same way, if you observe 2016, the same thing you can observe over here as well. So 16 1 2016, it has taken this particular record to the beginning of the year. So now let me duplicate the calculation and do it at the month level. I am duplicating it and editing this column, changing it to quarter first and renaming the calculation as quarter. So 
Now let's bring this calculation to row shelf. Convert it to exact date. And then change it to discrete. So each year has four quarters. So what happens now is it will truncate uh, every date to the first of the quarter. So we have four quarters for every month. So first quarter, now uh, first quarter's date will be the first month's date. The same way, second quarter's date will be the fifth month's date. Likewise, if, if you observe this particular date, we can observe that 01, 01, 2014. And it's common for all months till April. Yeah, let's observe this. So if you observe this particular uh, record, 2104-2014, it has displayed the date 01-04-2014. So it is displaying that particular month's first quarter date. And let's observe the same. This is second quarter. That's why it has displayed second quarter's uh, value. So if you go back and scroll up, it is first quarter. So it's displaying first quarter's value. So the same will happen for all other quarters. Now let me duplicate this and do it at a month level. Now I'm clicking on OK and bringing the trade date trunk to month, changing it to exact date and converting it to discrete. So if you observe for all the dates related to January, you can see only 01-01-2014 because that's what the first day of the month. And for all records related to February, you will see 01-02-2014 because it will truncate the date to the first of the month at the month level. So second month's first date. So the same way it will do it for each and every month. It will truncate that uh, each and every dates related to that particular month and display the beginning date of that particular month provided. So it will truncate the dates based on the date part provided so that's how we can use date trunk function in tableau and uh, manipulate the dates in however way required for us thank you guys thanks for landing at my channel lag smiles 31 if you like my video or like my content please like share and let me know in the comments what could have been better and if you have any questions for me do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.